Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how I make this friend's couch cake topper. First, I start with some store-bought Rice Krispie treats because they're already in this rectangle shape. And I'm just cutting it to shape, um, to be the same shape as the friend's couch. And I'm just molding it with my fingers and cutting little pieces here and there to keep the same shape. I'm using Hot Hands Modeling Chocolate. It's a little hard, so make sure you cut it up and knead each individual piece. I'm just making the couch cushion and then I'm rolling out the modeling chocolate, wrapping it around that couch. I'm using these little PME modeling tools. It just helps to get into like little crevices. I'm wrapping more modeling chocolate around the couch and I'm just molding it with my fingers. The heat of your hands will help melt the chocolate into each other, making it seamless. Just putting a piece of modeling chocolate on the back of the couch and using the heat of my hands to make it seamless. The Rice Krispie Treat is a little bumpy, so I am rolling out another piece of modeling chocolate just to make it more smooth. I'm using the modeling tools to make the marks in the couch so that you can see where the couch cushion is. Anywhere that I see it's a little bumpy, I'm just adding an extra piece of modeling chocolate and then I'm just smoothing it out with the tools and my hands. Continue to use the modeling tools and your hands to make the shape of the couch. I'm using a few pieces of modeling chocolate up at the top of the couch because I looked at the picture of the friend's couch and it does come out a little bit further. Just trying to make it as realistic as possible. What's great about modeling chocolate is you can add little pieces and then you just use the warmth of your hands and it kind of just melts into more pieces and it makes a seamless look unlike fondant. I'm using the modeling tools to map out where I'm going to put my fondant. I'm adding plastic wrap to my paint palette for easy cleanup. I'm using Poppy Paint Edible Paints. Now these paints do work on chocolate, so make sure you don't use just a regular gel food coloring. It has to be a paint that works on chocolate. The colors that I'm using is orange, white, and brown, and I do have my couch resting on parchment paper so I don't dirty my mat. Make sure you get the paint all over, including all those little crevices. Now roll out a strip of light brown fondant and I'm just going to use some of those modeling tools just to cut it to make it look like a fringe and that goes at the very bottom of the couch. I'm attaching the fondant fringe with my edible glue. It's available on my website, lhkakery.com. And now I'm using some of the darker brown fondant and that just goes right above the fringe. And then I roll some thin ropes of that same darker brown fondant and I just put the accent on the front of the couch. This goes on the armrest all the way down to the fringe. I also added a thin rope to the very top of the couch, as seen in some of the friends' couch pictures. And here's the final product. Hope you enjoy!